All right, Texas barbecue. Here we are at Brett's backyard barbecue. Man, we had a good time today. Uh, the the hog was cooked. We got a little live video of that. And here is the man that's responsible for that, Tyler Harp. Tyler, you're from Kansas, is that correct? I am actually from Missouri. Oh. I'm from Kansas City, so it's right there. It's oh. uh, often, often mistaken, but I, I, uh, my, my soil is Missouri. But, you know, Kansas City, yes, is a uh, barbecue town ourselves. Uh, you know, it's a great barbecue town, and there's no shortage of great barbecue towns here in Texas that we like to go around and travel to ourselves. So. I tell you what, I used to go on sales trips, and when I would get to Kansas City, <laughs> I ate some great barbecue there. and. And for a long time, it took me a long time to find ribs in Texas that could match some of them. So uh, there is some awesome barbecue in Kansas City, that's for sure. Yeah, we've got, you know, for a smaller city, we've got over 100 barbecue spots. So there is some good selections. Um, you know, and in Kansas City, it's really divided up into two scenes. I would say you have your competition scene and your traditional scene. So. Uh, the way it's worked out is, is right now a lot of the competition guys coming out, opening restaurants, doing their own thing, putting different flares on whether it be you know burn-ins or ribs or and then you got your traditional guys that really just kind of stick to what Kansas City Barbecue's always been. So uh, those are the two scenes right now, and hopefully uh, Craft Barbecue will be a scene one day up there as well. Well, that's good. So, yeah. All right, so tell me a little history about cooking that pig. How did it all start for you? All right, so I'm fortunate. I got to learn from one of the greats. Uh, Zach Parker has been teaching me for about the last year on hogs. Uh, he's, he's been a great friend and mentor to me. Uh, as far as getting to somebody that that knows their craft, uh, I'm not sure too many people know any more about anything than he does smoking hogs. Uh, and he's really been gracious with his knowledge and shared that with me. That's a West Tennessee style whole hog. It is slightly different than what they're doing in the Carolinas. Um, it's, uh, it's rendered a little slower, longer. They're at about a 24 hour process and uh, a lot of the guys in the Carolinas go for about 12. Um, so what did you do today? Today we did kind of a mashup of a Western Tennessee whole hog with some Texas flavors. Um, I didn't want to get ran out of the building, so I put black pepper on my hog. So we uh, we got the pepper influence in there, and uh, you know, and the post oak as well. So traditionally, we the West Tennessee hog is not peppered; it's cooked with hickory. Um, but, but we're in Texas, and so uh, we didn't want to lose sight of that. We wanted to still put out a great product and have some like, Texas flavors in it as well. Well, I tell you what, I had some, and it was phenomenal. It was great. Great, great I, flavor too. I appreciate that, and like I said, I uh, I wouldn't be able to do that without Zach Parker. Uh, so so he's been a great great reinforcement for everything I want to do with whole hog barbecue. So it's a it's a sacred thing that not a lot of people uh, you know really want to put in the time and the labor to, 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 to do that kind of work anymore. So it's something that uh, I think it is catching back on. It's becoming trendy again. And and probably for that reason, because there's more people in barbecue now that are taking pride in doing the extra mile. Right. And then that's really catching on, and especially with the craft barbecue world. And, and so I think whole hog barbecue is going to make a reappearance. You know, like, so. I remember when I was very small, I think my grandpa would wrap it. And it wasn't full. I, I thought it was something else. And they would put it in the ground and cook it. Yeah, I, uh, I had a funny story about that. I, I saw, uh, as a young child, I looked up to my dad and his brothers. They were on the competition scene in Kansas City. And uh, they cooked the hog in the ground at my cousin's wedding when I was 12 years old. And to me, these guys were the barbecue gods. And uh, that hog didn't do so well. They had to go down to the local barbecue joint, spend about six or 700 bucks to feed everybody. <laughs> And I was 12 years old at the time, and I kind of got the notion right there that one day I was going to learn how to cook a whole hog. And, uh, we've been able to have some success with moving forward with that notion. So, uh, like I said, I've been fortunate, but we've put in a lot of hard work, too. So. Well, good deal. Now, Tyler, if, uh, if I wanted to hire you, how would we do that? Um, well, I'm Heart Barbecue on Instagram. Um, you know, uh, so a lot of people reach out to us, Instagram, email, um, and we, we, you know, we take all inquiries there, and we, we I've uh, got a deal, I've worked with Knob Creek in the past, Bourbon, um, I'm currently working with the Kansas, Kansas Beef Council as well, um, trying to do a couple of different things, to, but I try to stay close to what I believe in, I don't branch out too far from anything that doesn't directly relate to what I do, and uh, 
you know, bourbon is a big social experiment, just right. like barbecue is, and they, they play off of each other just like Lone Star beer and brisket. So, mm-hmm. to me, that fit. The Kansas Beef Council was, uh, you know, I want to get in with ranchers. I want to know people that know the process of raising the cattle, where they're coming from, and uh, we're starting to make progress with that now. So. Okay. All right. Well, good deal, Tyler. We're uh, we very much appreciate you sitting down with us, yeah. Texas Barbecue, Tyler Harp. You can find him on Instagram at what was it again? Harp Barbecue. All right. H-A-R-P and Brett's Backyard Barbecue. I'm on there quite a quite a bit as well. There so. you go. Okay, Tyler. Thank you very much. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you.